I just want to chime in. I just want to just talk to you for a second. I just want to say something. Uh, and um, I don't know who it is, but what God see your condition. He knows what you've been through. He knows the hurts, the pains, the rejections, the fears, the unfortunate stuff that you've had to encounter, the things that you've had to, to, to see with your own eyes. And when you saw that, it was so bright for your eyes and it, and it did something to your, your, your mind, it did something to your imagination with the things that you saw too early in life. And so there are things that you, you're still wrestling with, you're still trying to deal with, you're still trying to get understanding about. But the scripture says, and all you're getting, get understanding. And so your understanding to understand that is the way to understand that is to go to God, go to God, go to God. And then you're going to God, ask God to give you the understanding. That's, that's what you do. Ask him to give you the understanding. He says in his word that you have not because you ask not. If you ask him, he's going to give it. And so this is what God is looking for. This is what he's waiting on. See, he's waiting on you. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on you to say yes. He's waiting on you to think right. He's waiting on you to talk right. He's waiting. He's waiting you to pray right. That's all he's waiting. He's waiting on you to change your conversation. See, your conversation has been destructive. Your conversation has been contrary. Your conversation has been confusing, hadn't been faith. There are things that you've been saying that has been uh, fighting against the things that you've been praying for, things that you've been hoping for, things. And so you're talking out two sides of your mouth. You got to stop that. It's like you're, you're, you're walking in place, but you're not going nowhere. You're standing right there. You're standing in the same condition. You're standing in the same mindset. You're standing in the same sur surrounding. You're saying it. You're, you're saying stand. You're standing in the same circumference, the same environment, the same people. And so it's time to break from that. It's time to free yourself from that. And the way that you free yourself from that is the first step is to say yes. God help me. God invite me in. God invite me in. God, I invite you in. God, invite me into your word. God, invite me into your power. God, invite me into your glory. God, I'm here. I'm here, God. I'm an empty pitcher. As an empty pitcher. Before a welfare fountain. God, I'm here. God, lead me and guide me. God, help me. God, I know you're present. A very present help in a time of trouble. God, in my trouble in my troubled condition, in my troubled mindset. God come, God intervene. God come in. God come in the room. God come in the room where I'm full of despair. God come in the room. God where I feel lost. Oh God come in the room. And then, and you're coming in the room God. God changed. God changed my environment. God changed my surroundings. God change. God change the way I see. Change the way I hear. You said in your word that he that dwells in the secret place of the most high, they would abide under the shadow, God. God, you invite me in. And God, your secret place. God shut me in. Close the door. And God speak into my heart. God let me know the way, God. God give me direction, God. God give me the wisdom, God. God, give me the circumference, God. God, lead me beside the still water, God. God, speak to me, God. Surround me in the presence of my enemies, God. God, give me a table to dine. God, allow me to feast. Feast off of your word, God. Feast off of your power, God. Feast off of your anointing, God. God, give it to me now, God. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, give it. God, cause it to happen, God. God, cause it to take place, God. God, for your glory, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, amen, amen.